Well, okay, my friends, this is, uh, again, another one of these days where it's just denial of reality. It appears to me. Uh, that's what I'm seeing. Now, this was eight years ago. Fascia is instrumental in the perfectly preserved fossilization in wet, fine, continuously wet mud. That's where all this stuff was preserved. The product can be exact copies of the living creatures, flesh, colors, and all. Like this. This is a piece of flesh. And that's actually the latch that holds this part into another piece of flesh. This is actually a human footprint in Triassic rock. And I'm right down the street from Dinosaur State Park. So I decided to comment on their site, which I did years and years ago. This goes back 15 years I've been doing this. And it's been rejected forever. At this, t at this point in time, on, in uh, 2015, I had already had CAT scans, DNA tests. I had all kind of dozens and dozens of samples. And they're all validated. And they're all at an anatomically exact. And... Um, it's been rejected by everybody. So I figured, well, I'll put Dinosaur State Park a little bit to the task and see how they'll react. Because I did, like I say, long, long, long time ago, I, I approached them and I was dismissed with them too. So I stayed away from them until, oh, I don't know, six months or so ago. And I posted a couple things up there and they seemed to let them go up. But today uh, I ran into this, let me show you. Okay, my friends. Hold on to your hats. This is the human footprint in Triassic Rock. I'm right down the street from Dinosaur State Park. They have the huge number of dinosaur footprints in the same rock. I have one that's a human. Now, I have sent them on their Facebook a bunch of stuff they're having, a, and I'm showing the lungs and so forth. I had DNA tested, and... Uh, hmm. Huh. Oh. Interesting. I put a bunch of stuff up here this morning. I guess they're not here now. Dinosaur Limited who can com comment on this post. Look at that. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Dinosaur State for limited who can comment on this post. I'm not allowed to comment anymore. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. And it did. So, and down here I commented a while back. And I'm the only one to thumb up. And I'm sure that was 13 weeks ago. So now I am, I'm gone from there. Now I, I sent them a message. This is not right. This is just not right. We are just not right at all. So I guess I'm just going to have to let it flow from here because I did something about academia's dirty little secret years ago. I'm going to go back to that and let's just start from there because this is this is just not right. This is Dinosaur State Park Friends Limited who can comment on this post. That's because I put up a couple things showing my human footprints against theirs and you're going to see it again now okay i think i was a little harsh on dinosaur state park the the thing i put up there was not related to this event that they were going to have it was related to the evidence that i had but i went back and i saw 13 weeks ago they let my stuff go up there and it's still up there but nobody commented on it. I'm the only one that even clicked on a like. So I don't think they have any any interest. I tried messaging them, and we'll see if anything happens there. But I don't think it will. I, I, this is I've met this continuously for 15 years. So let's see what happens. All right. But at, like I say, I might have been a little too harsh, saying that they took me right down because of of my evidence. No. They're just not interested in the evidence. <laughs> they took me down, I think, because I posted where, on something that it was not related to it. So that's, I think they were fine to do that, actually, to be honest. And they left these other ones up there, but nobody cares. 
<laughs> you see this one? This is the only one that's left up here. This was 15 minutes ago I put it up here. And then they shut it down. They took all my other ones off. Now, this is going to be interesting to see what happens here. Let's see if I can mic it. Yep, I can mic it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to tell you. And this was my paper that I wrote. I thought, let them go and look at this. I discovered mud fossils. This is my paper from 2015. And this is all about Derek Briggs and Yale talking about the Triassic. Now, are they going to leave this up here? Because Yale did, as, as everybody knows, Yale did certify that this stuff happens. Exceptional preservation of soft-bodied creatures promoted by silica-rich oceans. Exactly what I sent them. And this is all about the Triassic era and it's worldwide in this one layer that is the Triassic layer. This is going to be very interesting to see what happens. Alright, this is the abstract. The Etikara biota, which is nothing more than these mud fossils, Earth's earliest fossilized ecosystem of macroscopic multicellular organisms, which means creatures, occurs in terminal layer worldwide, yet how they were preserved remains controversial. I know exactly how they were preserved but they consist of exceptionally preserved soft body forms of enigmatic morphology and physiological and infinity. Well, it's just creatures. Blood literally bubbled out of the silicate invaded lung, which is this one here. The other was saturated with blood. It was DNA tested and so forth. So I showed them this. Let's see if they leave this up on their page. This is going to be an, a little more of an investigation because I sent this to Yale. And then they put out their paper in 2016. My paper was this one here from 2015. 2015, fascia facilitated fossilization. I go through it. It's almost identical to what Yale did. And the only reason they did it, I think, this is my opinion, is that I also contacted NASA and NASA ended up paying Yale for all of this research, which I had already done. All right, you see where down here? I had pre presented all my stuff to Derek Briggs at Yale. And, and then he was, it was part of this paper that took credit for it. And the research was supported by National Science Foundation, Earth Sciences Postdoctoral Fellowship, a grant from American Philosophical Society, Lewis and Clark Fund, now NASA Exobiology Grant. Why NASA? A NASA Fellowship Doctorate, Postdoctoral Fellowship, and a Foundation of Complex Life, NASA Astrobiology Institute. And that's because I sent all my stuff to NASA at the same time because Curiosity was sending back pictures of the Morse code the Mars crab and the Mars blueberries, all of it is biology. There's no question it was. And, and they, as far as I'm concerned, they must have gone to Yale and said, is this guy crazy? And Yale end up saying, no, he's right. This, is, this did happen, but it is only just soft creatures. And there was no, no bones, no nothing. This is, they say it all happened buried, rapidly buried under underwater storm events. Yes, obviously. And it was the whole world was, a, was a covered. This is completely everywhere on the whole world is the Triassic layer. And they said it could have happened, it turned into rock over hours or years. It, it did happen pretty quick, not that quick. And they say all of these animals were entirely soft body. They lived before shells, teeth, bones, which are typically only things that were fossilized. No, they had feet. There was, there was a bird, this is a bird's head, some kind of thing. I thought it was a goose. I'm not sure what it is. If anybody knows what that big feather pattern is there on the back of his head. And this, you know, I, I tried to match it up. As close as I could get was a, it's a waterfowl, I would think. Anyway, this was the Triassic signature, the red bed, the gray clay, black cap. And there's a human footprint in it. I have so much evidence now. And my stuff is DNA tested, CAT scan, and everything else. So now... 
Let's see how they handle this. Let's see who's truthful and who isn't. All right, I'm going to sum this up. This is the Dinosaur State Park. That, I believe, down here is the red bed. Red bed. This is the gray clay. Then the black cap is removed, but I believe this right here is where the black cap is. You remember I showed you I had the red bed, gray clay, black cap, and then in the middle of my stuff, this is, this sums it up right here. Very, very, very simple. Let me come in on this. I'll explain what I'm talking about here. All right, this is a triassic. Tri means three, which is the red bed, gray clay, black cap. They call it gray sandstone. That's fine. It's worldwide. Three colored layers worldwide because of the great flood. It was also called, that, that particular time was called the great dying. It's recorded as a hot water worldwide global flood with heavy silicates and salts. That's what the oceans were, and the oceans covered the world. It led to exceptional soft body preservation. That's what Yale wrote, and of course I did too. Mine are DNA tested, modern human mitochondrial DNA. All right. So we have the black cap, then we have the gray clay underneath, then we have the red bed. Now, my house is on a sort of a, like this, where the stuff would have washed down this way and right over the edge and down kind of a steepish slope. So mine have nice clean layer here. And I believe the same thing happened up at Dinosaur State Park. But this was the end result. There was going to be a substrate layer, which is the original layer of the earth that was there before the flood. The flood deposited the red bed, the gray clay, and the black cap. And now the black cap was pushed down with the gray clay below the red bed. Just precisely what I showed you. All right, so that's all there is to it. Now we need to, I need somehow to get a hold of Dinosaur State Park and see if they'll examine this, this evidence. I mean, I'm six miles away. It's Triassic Rock. I showed you, and if, if somebody can dispute it, I'd like to know how.